welcome to this presentation. We are going to be discussing the midpoint of a line and we're going to run through an example. This is actually very easy. As long as you know what you're doing and how to do it, then it's, it's really simple. There's not much calculus involved. We're going to be considering this formula, which I will talk through very shortly. I've done a video in detail talking about the line segments and how we use Pythagoras theorem to determine the distance between two points. This video is going to be slightly built on from that because we are going to see how we calculate a midpoint between two other points. And before we actually get going, what I want to discuss is how this formula relates to what you're seeing here, because it's all well and good showing you a formula and putting what numbers where and then just pressing equals on your calculator. But if you understand the maths behind it, then it's a lot more easier to remember going forward. Point A is going to be equal to X1, Y1. Point B is equal to X2, y2 that's just the coordinates on this plane and how we're going to calculate the midpoint is going to be the x1 plus x2 so we're taking the value of the x-axis for point a and point b we're adding them together dividing them by two because what that will do is it will tell us the, the midway point between the run so basically what I mean by run is how far laterally we go from A to B. And by dividing that by two, we're literally cutting it in half right at the halfway point. So this alone tells us that our midpoint is in line with the halfway point. But we need to know as well how high it goes, which is why we have this as well, which is the value of the y for a and also the value of the y for b we add those two points together divide it by two because what that will do is it will show the total rise so the height distance between point a and b dividing it by two cuts it off exactly at the midpoint so we can determine that the midpoint is exactly halfway laterally and also halfway vertically and then we can calculate the actual coordinates for this midpoint and this is where we start to use this formula the question that we have is find the midpoint of the line segment joining points 3 4 and 5 minus 3 don't forget that this is the x coordinate for one of the points and this is the x coordinate for the other point all we need to do then is just now that we've determined that this is an X point and this is an X point by default, the others must be Y points. So it's quite simple to know what goes where we know we're going to be dividing by two on both instances. And all we need to do is the first X point is three plus the second X point, which is five which will give us, that will be 3 plus 5 is 8, divided by 2. Equals 4. And then the final thing we do is 4 plus minus 3, which just becomes 4 minus 3, will give us 1. 1 over 2, we don't simplify that, so our answer, in essence, is 4 over one half that is the coordinates of the midpoint because we have found the total run divided it by two which means that we've we've found the halfway point going laterally and now all we need is to know the midpoint how high it goes and we have uh, four minus three divided by two finds the exact halfway point which is half We've put it in the form of coordinates. We're done. It's as simple as that. Don't forget to subscribe because we will be doing regular videos for this and you will be able to see all of the mathematical videos that we release that will help you in your studies.